Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is a Port Vale versus Bradford City match vlog. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are trying to hit 6,000 subscribers by May, so if you could subscribe, that would also be massively appreciated. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And drop a comment in down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on today's game? It's a nice and early one because we're on Sky today. It's the first time we've been on Sky since we lost 1-0 at home to Harrogate last season. So usually we don't do too very well. Does that make sense? But usually we don't do very well on TV. So fingers crossed we can get some sort of a decent result today. I think in their last four games, Port Vale have scored 17 and conceded two. They're a very good side. So it's going to be a very tough game today. In terms of the score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. Probably would take a point today. We've been on a decent run ourselves at the moment. To be honest, it doesn't really seem like we're, we're climbing up the table, but against the, some of the teams that we've been playing, we are picking up some nice points, a, a winner and draw here or there. But make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and I shall see you all at Vale Park. TV is fucking shit, Sky TV is fucking shit, Sky TV is fucking shit, Sky TV. Oh, 
one. And there we have it then, an interesting game to say the least, I thought in the first half we were absolutely terrible, it's probably the worst first half I've seen us have under Derek Adams, thankfully we defended very well, I mean maybe the Hartlepool at home game was worse but it was definitely not a great display in that first half, nothing was sticking up front, we were just kind of lumping it up to Vernon and Robinson and expecting them to win it. Um, so we got into half time with 0-0 which you know, I would have taken that considering the balance of play, Port Vale were pretty much all over us. We had some good chances here or there, Robinson and Vernon had some good chances but they really snatched at them, especially Vernon, he should be doing a lot better with his chance. Then we got into half time, we were forced pretty much into a substitution, Threlkel comes off for Rydhald, Fold goes over to right wing back which I don't think he's ever played before in his career. Uh, Threlkel obviously had to go off because he was one probably slight foul away from being sent off, I don't know why he's so clumsy and I've spoke about Threlkel enough, you all, you guys all know my thoughts on him, it was great in pre-season. Since his injury at Exeter, he just doesn't look the same, to be honest. But moving on to the second half, Port Vale's goal. I just still can't believe how they've managed to score from it. We have two open goals. Vernon slices at the shot. Robinson can't quite get onto the end of it. They go up the other end. And I think it's Folds and Paul. They just let him run across too easily. Songo misses the ball. Canavan stops running. Everyone kind of just stands there and waits for O'Donnell, who saves it. Who, who by the way, probably his best game of the season so far. O'Donnell was absolutely fantastic. Credits where credits do. He made two world-class saves in the first half. Made some decent save in the second half as well but unfortunately the ball falls straight back to Wilson who's there to tap in then with about 15 minutes left to go uh, we have an opportunity on the right hand side Matty Folds on that left foot swings a great ball in and Leangle with a fantastic header 
puts it into the back of the net, sends the Bradford City fans into absolute disarray. It was absolutely fantastic scenes in that away. And to say it was only an equaliser, if we'd have managed to grab a winner, I can't even imagine and think what that away end would have looked like. But yeah guys, that is where I am going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like is always be massively appreciated. As said at the start of today's video, if we could hit 100 likes on it, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Trying to hit 6k by May, so if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Get your post notification button as well, so you never miss a video of when I upload. Drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on today's game? How do you think we played? Port Vale fans, let me know as well your thoughts down in the comments below. How do you think you played as well? Share the video around with your family and friends have a great rest of your day and i shall see you all soon for another video peace